closer look tonight at President Trump's tariffs and the trickle-down effect that they could have on your grocery bill. Prices on everything from salad dressing to mayo to soy milk could begin inching up now because of a big tariff that China has now put on our soybeans. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rebecca Thornburg is hearing firsthand tonight from one farmer who's experiencing the financial fallout firsthand. These would be the start of small little soybean pods. This is Christian Yunker's office, CY Farms, 6,500 acres spread across Genesee, Orleans, and Monroe counties. About a thousand of those acres are in Batavia and are devoted to soybeans, a crop suddenly caught in an international tug of war over tariffs. As soon as there's talk about tariffs and trade war, that's usually um, agriculture um, ends up as somewhat of the whipping boy. Uh. Last week, China slapped a 25% tariff on soybeans from the U.S. in retaliation for the Trump administration's $34 billion worth of tariffs on Chinese goods. The president says countries like China have long taken advantage of the U.S. and it's time to do something about it. But Yunker says farmers like him are caught in the middle. It's, it's painful right now for farmers. There's so many other good producers around the world, um, I think this might hurt our market share as soy producers in the long run. He says the industry has taken a 20% hit and his farm could lose up to $100,000. Consumers could feel the pinch as well. Trade wars um, generally for the consumer are not a good thing. I mean, some, someone's got to pay more. There's all kinds of products that you might not even imagine that, that soy is in. When the market moves up and down, many of the other commodities move with it. So this has also f affected our other commodity markets and um, it makes those all other alternatives not that great either. Rebecca Thornburg, 7 Eyewitness News. Still to come here tonight, Twitter is trimming